National Science Museum is under fire for a controversial exhibit showing children why tall people are better than short people. Diabetes isn't real. Wow. It's important to make sure you're getting your heart rate up every day. One of the best ways to do that is by getting scared. I recommend all my patients watch a scary video like this. Oh no. Okay. Ugh, whatever. I hope Greta Thunberg's boat hits an iceberg. Allie, are you with us? I am, Mike. Allie, I have a terrible head injury, and as such, my short-term memory is gone. Would you repeat everything that's been said in the broadcast so far, <laughs> word for word, from memory? Certainly. <coughs> Hi, welcome to Breaking News, where we don't know what we're about to say, and we can't smile or laugh. I've always thought of Christmas as a time-honored celebration of a young woman named Mary's virginity. We go now to an exclusive interview with the man himself, Sam Reich. Sam, good evening. <laughs> good evening, you dick. What a terrible energy to begin an interview with. Hi, I'm Ryan Crabb here to tell you about the wet weather we've got coming. It's tough to put into words, so I'm going to make wet mouth sounds <laughs> right now to get the point across. The exhibition titled The Weather Up Here features dioramas and interactive displays demonstrating the many ways in which the tall among us are superior, both physically and morally. Presbyterians. <laughs> I've had about enough of them. The footage is locked by court, but I'll reenact it for you now. <laughs> 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 It's a cattle prod that you electrocute yourself with. Electricity, baby. The electrical current resets your natural heart rhythms by stimulating neurological impulses. How bad is this gonna hurt? Do I just press this button and then do it? <laughs> Finally, sushi should have grapes. Whether it's in his nicely tailored blue suit or just a pair of jeans and a t-shirt, Grant knows how to look good in any occasion. Interesting. Oh yeah? Let's see what you got. Make out with this mannequin's head. Another features photographs of short people from the vantage point of tall people, so they can see just how puny and insignificant they are. Rest assured, tall people know who's going bold. Grant's style is as magnetic as his personality. Boy, this is funny. Beverly, I love you. Aww. I want to marry you. I remember the night we met. We went to the world famous amusement park, Kings Island, and rode all 14 of their roller coasters, of which I will now name five. Dungeons and Dragons is bad. Thanks, Taylor. You all know my damn deal. I talk about sports while I eat straight black pepper. That is the smell. It smells like paint, I swear to God. <laughs> oh. Oh. I do this all the time. <laughs> but don't worry, it's going to dry out soon. How dry will it get? I've got some flour right here. I'm going to put a spoonful of it in my mouth <laughs> so I can imitate how dry it will be. Oh. Ah, fantastic. It is a spoonful of it. Mm. Oh. What? <laughs> they refuse to make me my favorite. A big bowl of oatmeal with a lot of whipped cream on top. <laughs> Luckily, I have some here. It's weird that I can see it steaming. Look, we all know it's true. You're just mad that we're finally saying it out loud. It's weird that I can see it steaming. Tell them about the life you're gonna make for them. I'm gonna take care of you. You're never gonna have to worry. You're my princess. <laughs> it's crazy how the cream collapses under the weight of more cream, so it all fits in the bowl. The other day I left two stars for a coffee shop where I said the service wasn't friendly enough because for a $1 tip, I expect to get my snatch worked like. <laughs> I read ahead. <laughs> Oh, it's about to, there it goes. That's all the time we have, but before we go, we'll tell you that tonight's loser is Sam. 
As punishment, they have to call the most recent number dialed and tell whoever answers that they love Beverly. It'll be strange to call my wife and tell her that uh, <laughs> I love Beverly. <laughs> You love Beverly? I love <laughs> Beverly. I'm sorry it didn't work out, but the connection between Beverly and I is too strong. <laughs> and as punishment, oh, they'll no. have to eat licorice <gasps> while they shock themselves with a cattle prod. Oh, not red vines at all. Tonight's loser is Sam Reich. As punishment, they have to watch me eat this sushi <laughs> made with grapes. No. Well, I guess we're going off keto. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, speed it up, Jack. Pick that bowl back up and eat faster. Tell you that tonight's loser is Erica. As punishment, they have to sing harmony to the sea shanty TikTok style. Tonight's loser is Sam Wise Rush. As punishment, they're going to have to go around and tell the real actors where they think they first met to see if their stories line up. Cool. I'm so sad this is almost over. Grab your phone and tell us what your five most recently downloaded apps are and why you thought you needed them so badly. Ooh, my pleasure. I'm going to do math without paper or a calculator. While I'm on that subject, Grant is a raconteur of the highest order, a born storyteller. But while he's happy to hold court telling tales of his interesting and full life, hmm. he's equally satisfied to listen. Hmm. It's not an act either. He genuinely cares about other people. Justice is a bedtime story we tell to ourselves to make the success of our M and enemies seem temporary. Protests are planned all week. Museum organizers expect them to be ineffective, but adorable. If things, <laughs> if things really get out of hand, the event planners will go put one hand on the protest. <laughs> will go put one hand on the protesters' heads while they punch the air like leprechauns. You can make a trap out of some reeds, like these. I'll show you how to make a rudimentary snare to trap small animals. You're gonna wanna start by putting one of these sticks on the ground. Pretend that this is the ground. Oh, pretend, oh, I'm tangled. So instead of cooking, I'll be doing some not cooking with that most classic raw dish, oysters. There we go. <laughs> there's bad news coming because it's going to get windy. How windy? <laughs> I'll whistle to demonstrate. There's a chance you'll find yourself in an area with no fresh water. That doesn't mean you're out of luck, though. There's always a water source nearby. This one. <laughs> Grant O'Brien, you little wiener. This is human urine. In this case, though, <laughs> the urine has been sterilized, so it's perfectly safe for me to drink. That's the opposite of these five celebrities that both the left and the right hates. Honestly, just like a list of five celebrities would be enough to really... Oh God, who's famous? But Grant never cuts corners at the gym. He knows that the only person he's in competition with is himself. You know that picture of him where he forgot to rub in his sunscreen yes. like he's an eight-year-old who's too excited to be at the water park? Yes, I do. I love it. In fact, I'm going to recreate it now with this sunscreen right now. You know in Mrs. Doubtfire when uh, Robin Williams smashes his face into a cake? <laughs> and it's, you know, yeah, it's like that, but all over an entire body. Oh, hey, look at that. You look like Mrs. Doubtfire trying to fool the child welfare age. The cryptocurrency market took a tumble today, probably because the whole idea of crypto is completely fucking insane. Everyone who owns crypto is an asshole who should pause this video right now and spend 10 minutes Googling the Dutch tulip bubble. They won't, obviously, because they're assholes, but they should. I want to shout my love from the rooftops. I know what I'll do. Debbie, could you do me a favor? Anything for love, John. I'm going to take out my actual cell phone and scroll through my contacts until you tell me to stop. 
Then I'm gonna call whatever number my finger is closer to and say I'm getting married. These are my real thoughts. If someone clips them from this video and I try to say later <laughs> that it was out of context, I'm lying. I'm not using the prompter right now. <laughs> this is totally off the dome. Grant, you son of a bitch. <laughs> so can you tell us what 431 divided by 76 is? Oh, that'll be a long number. <laughs> How about just to the nearest two decimal points? No sweat. Oh, now you could argue that playing football at all was nothing more than a guy got orchestrated once again on the back of unpaid players who put their health on the line purely for the sake of big money TV deals. It's this voice. But it's rattled me to my very core. In moments like this, I like to think about, I like to think about Grant. Mm. It calms me down. I think it calms all of us down, Paul. Chug, 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 chug. That's not chug. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, that does not taste good. Santa Claus is real. He's been real this whole time. The only reason you thought he was fake was because your parents asked him not to come to your house because they didn't love you enough. Some of you have probably made money in crypto. That's great. Congratulations. A lot of people made money in Beanie Babies too, but you should sell right now because the whole house of cards is gonna come tumbling down and I'm gonna laugh and laugh when it does. Now for an update on the astronauts stranded on the space station. Here's NASA correspondent. Punky Juicer. She blew me a kiss of gold. <laughs> now, what does that mean? Cheap Chinese labor built my railroad. I see. Don't worry though. It'll get warm again soon. <laughs> oh my God, how hot will it get? I'll rub this flower on my face like it's makeup to demonstrate hotness. <laughs> I would love to know the name of exactly who wrote this one. Grant wrote this one. <laughs> Our top story tonight, billionaire owner of Dropout TV, Sam Reich, has announced a new conservative media venture known as Dropout America. The Game Changer host went on to say that poor people should have to pay to use the fire department and that we should get rid of libraries because they attract, <laughs> quote, the wrong types. Santa made a public appearance with his most trusted advisor, Rudolph, to apologize for a controversial tweet in which he said, the best part of a white Christmas is the white part. I've just had an idea. I better put this mayonnaise mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all over the good and plenty. Mmm. And eat it. Got straight, it. Straight, yeah. yeah, then straight yeah. ahead. You're yeah. smooth sailing. A little more right for you. Oh, right. Right. Yeah, yeah. Your, yeah that's the difference. There we go. Perfect. To your right. To uh -huh. your right. To right. right. Uh -huh. There you go. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. A little more up. <laughs> up. Down a lot. Down, down, down a lot. Down a lot. <laughs> there you go. This is my old roommate, so this is going to be great. She's a busy person. Alfred? Oh my God, guess what? Hi. Hello, guess what? I'm getting married. I'm marrying Beverly. First of all, teachers and nurses should be paid less. <gasps> What's a nurse? Stock a vending machine with Advil and it can do the same job. The exhibit is meant to be a celebration of the fact that regardless of race, creed, or country of origin, short people are the worst. You see the same thing in other second-rate towns like Cincinnati, Austin, and San Diego. I hate Austin. I hate Austin so much that I've invited a special guest, real person, Candace Warren Green, to join us via Zoom. And you were recently awarded the Mayor's Spurs to the City for your work creating safe play areas at libraries for children whose parents needed help finding childcare. Uh, this led the Austin statesman to call you the mother of Austin and one of the city's most beloved residents. Is that correct? This is what the teleprompter says. Such a baby. Does it make you sad that you work so hard to help children who are stuck living in a garbage place? Do you think if the landlocked dummies in Austin ever saw a real ocean, they'd be so overwhelmed they'd die of a heart attack? Every plate of Texas barbecue tastes like the person that made it. 
bland and forgettable. I don't believe that. Ha ha ha, yeah. Hey lady, where you live sucks. Uh, Austin 6th Street is a popular nightlife district, even though it's just 50 identical bars that all look vaguely like a rodeo. It's like the whole city went to a kid rock concert in 1999 and said, that'll be our aesthetic forever. Finally, could you all get over the cowboy boots thing? They cost $700 and they're wicked uncomfortable. You look like you're cosplaying as Woody from Toy Story, except Woody took care of Andy, who grew up to be an interesting person, unlike all the kids who have the misfortune of being from your hometown. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm sorry it'll be <laughs> in Austin. Thanks for having me. Mmm, tasty. <laughs> Miss Scusi. 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 Ah, this is my, this is my tailor, Luigi De Beppo. I asked him to come in and make custom suits for him. Miss Scusi. Miss Scusi. The soup with the largest tastiness to grossness, lookingness ratio. Miss I mean, listen, he's obviously better than Trump, but we're all clear that he's at best bear? half dead, right? Miss Scusi. Miss Scusi. Miss Scusi. Thank you. You know, at some point, everything is going to fall apart. See, 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 see. Miss Scusi. I don't think that means up. The Miss Scusi. says that while. <gasps> Miss Scusi. Put these on. Miss Scusi. Got it. No problem. I'm going to do that. It's oh so savory. Just like mom used to make. Miss Scusi. Boy, I miss that home cooking. Yeah, no problem. The seven best things my parents cooked for me when I was a kid were. M Miss Scusi. In the backpack? <gasps> Absolutely. Spaghetti and go. Oh, that's so heavy. That is unbelievably heavy. Do it fast or more bricks are coming. <laughs> uh, shepherd's pie. Uh, we had a nice taco night. Miss Scusi. Oh, oh my God. Uh, and uh, it worked out remarkably well, but we never did it again. No problem. Um, oh, okay. Finally. Miss Scusi. Miss Scusi. Sit down wearing all of this. Miss Scusi. <laughs> you could have learned one more <laughs> phrase in Italian. See. Si. If you ever. If you ever get Miss the chance Scusi. to spend a weekend in Seattle. Miss Scusi. My ideal weekend in Seattle. Miss Scusi. Then getting a nice coffee. Mm. Oh, Miss Scusi, <laughs> Miss yep, Scusi. Yep, you're Scusi. I don't know anything about Seattle. Miss Scusi. Looking at that pointy building. The there. coastal town, I bet there's chowder. All right, let's do chowder and then seafood, a show, a musical show. Miss Scusi, yep. Miss Scusi. Yep. yep. My tailor is an astronomy buff too. Miss Scusi. For every question you get wrong, he's going to hand you a very heavy book that you won't be allowed to put down. Amazing. Miss Scusi. The discovery. The correct answer uh, is Miss Voyager. Scusi. So sorry. Three. Miss Scusi. The answer is in fact five, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. <laughs> That's one more book for you. <laughs> Miss Scusi. The answer is not <laughs> nothing. It is, in fact, Mercury and Venus. That's the two of them. Miss Scusi. Remarkably good answer. What planet is known as the evening star? Venus! It's Venus! The great answer is, in fact, Venus! Oh. Way to go! No idea if you're right about that, so why don't you hold on to the rest of those books? Miss Scusi. Anyway. Perfect. Luigi is going to do his special measurements for you. Miss Scusi. Sounds great. This might be my last day working at college. <laughs> up. <laughs> Grew a national title last year. Lost many of their superstars to the NFL draft. For the league, Coach Dick. Some competition. Oklahoma, Oklahoma, <laughs> Spencer Rattler. After a, ooh, it's different settings. A prohibitive favorite for the Heisman Trophy. Finally, the Big Ten is trying to recover. <laughs> See, programs suffered their worst losses in quite some time. The door, making him one of a number of coaches, hanging on by a... <laughs> hanging on back to you in the studio. <laughs> Damn it. Well, that does it for us this week. Clearly the winner, as he is every week, is Grant. You don't have to say that.